It's Friday! ESM alum Bogdan Bondarenko, class of 2018, was named this year's top student in architectural technology at Onondaga Community College. Bogdan started his architecture degree at OCC in the fall of 2018 after earning 17 credits starting in the 10th grade at ESM High School. His focus and discipline has been noted by his professors and is evident in his success in the classroom and at work. In addition to being an excellent student with a 3.78 GPA, Bogdan has participated in multiple projects in service to the community. Good morning, ESM. Hey, Uncle Richie here. Back in the basement. Woo. All right. Oh, my gosh. It's fourth marking Perry. Can you stand it? Okay. On a side note, continue to work hard. Do your work. Okay, do your homework. You do your homework, you pass. It's amazing. Do your work. If you didn't do well last marking period, I'm sure you can work something out with your teachers or whatnot, but maybe if you do better this marking period, they'll overlook some things. I don't know, okay? But doing your homework is the pathway to success. Also, make sure your work's your own work. We're having some issues with plagiarism, at least I am, okay? Don't disrespect yourself, okay? This is the greatest computer, greatest calculator ever created. Use it. We know you're looking answers up, but use your own words. Don't copy paste. You're better than that. That's your ego. Okay. Ego is an acronym standing for edging good out or edging God out, but edging good out. Okay. Get your ego out of the way. Ask for help. Reach out to us. There's so many ways to reach your teachers. Reach out to us. We can help you. We want to help you. Okay. Time to get off my soapbox. Just a minute. Oh. We have some actual fist pumps this time. Yeah, with actual people. You know, last time Ferris pulled a fast one on me. Well, we have actual fist pumps this time. And again, we will get them to you somehow, some way. And hey, seniors, okay, we're going to celebrate, baby. We're going to get together somehow, some way, and, and celebrate this awesome class. We're going to get through this. All right, hang tough. Our first fist pump is from Miss Russo. It's Emma Jake one. Beautiful drawings. Woo! Okay, next we have Jasmine Short from Miss Russo. Excellent work. Woo! We've got from Mr. Burgess, Sophie Hertz. Awesome attitude and involvement in the slideshow. Good job. Woo! Okay, next we have Miss Russo again with Emily Andrews. Great job on your ceramic projects. Woo! Okay, next we have Jack Walters. Jack from Mr. Burgess. Excellent involvement and a fantastic slideshow. Woo! Next, we have uh, Miss Russo to Sarah Brevka. Uh, great job on your ceramic project. Woo! Hey, uh, three or four to go. Three or four more woos. Okay. Uh, we got Grace Kakamo from Miss DeBurgis. Entertaining, fun video, beautiful singing video. Woo! Okay, next we have Miss Russo again with Connor Jacobs. Great job on your ceramic projects. Woo! And then finally, we got Cassidy Sheftick. Great job on your ceramic projects. Woo! Keep up the good work. Do your homework. Make sure it's your own work. And get that ego out of the way. Okay? Richie loves you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Jace Prescott, the brother of Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott, died Thursday at the age of 31. The Cowboys released a statement saying the loss of Tad and Dak's brother is devastating. At this incredibly difficult time, the Prescott family asks only for prayers and respect for their privacy. In some good news, scientists have made a potential breakthrough that could help save the coral reefs. Scientists at the Flora the Aquarium Center have successfully reproduced the rigid cactus coral. The world's underwater ecosystems currently are in danger, and this discovery may help to one day restore reefs around the world. Nurses from St. Joseph's have spent more than two weeks from their family after having been sent around the country to fight the coronavirus. Sarah McDowell and Amy Berth have been dealing only with COVID-19 patients. It is unknown when they will come back home. Good 
morning. Today is Friday, April 24th, and today I'm happy to say we have no snow. Today and this weekend are going to be remaining in the high to mid 50s with mostly cloudy skies. We're going to have a slight chance of rain on Monday and Tuesday, but it's Syracuse, so what do you expect? Oh, it's still going to be remaining in the low to mid 50s all through next week, so when you can, try and get outside. It, try it helps with being a little bit stir crazy. I'm Bella with your weather. The first round of the NFL draft happened last night. The Bengals chose Joe Burrow with the number one pick. The Redskins chose Chase Young with a second pick. The Lions drafted Jeff Okuda with a third pick. The Giants drafted Andrew Thomas with a fourth pick. And the Dolphins drafted Tua Tungo Vailoa with a fifth pick. The draft had many records broken, including 15 selections out of 32, which were from the SEC conference. This is also the first time that the top three picks played with each other. Burrow, Young, and Akuda all were teammates at Ohio State in 2017. Rounds 2 plus 2 and 3 will be tonight at 7, and rounds 4 through 7 will be tomorrow at noon. I'm Chris with Sports.